Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this simple text reveal animation in Adobe After Effects. Um, it loops back, um, we have one line that kind of reveals one line of text, and then it comes back and reveals uh, some different text. So we're going to make something like this. First, I'm going to go into the project panel and we're going to create a new composition. Uh, it doesn't matter what the background color is. Duration is going to be 5 seconds for this, and I like the frame rate of 29.97, that's your standard 30 frames per second timeline, and I'm just doing a full HD. Um, let's get a background in here right away, so I'm going to right click in the composition, new, solid. Doesn't matter what color this is, because we are actually going to use an effect to create the color. So we're going to open up our effects and presets, or you can go up to the top where it says effect make sure that your layer is selected go to effect generate and we are going to use the gradient ramp the gradient ramp effect is pretty cool you can uh, go into your effect controls to change the parameters um, if effect controls isn't showing up for you you can go window down to effect controls um, and that will open that up by where your project panel is so with my gradient ramp selected here, I'm going to um, change the type of ramp, the ramp shape to radial. And I'm going to change the start of the ramp to, oh, there we go, it updated. I'm gonna change the start of the ramp to the center. Okay, now we've got something kind of circular here. And the end of the ramp, let's just, let's play around with that a little bit. I want it to be, I'm going to zoom out actually and make this end of ramp further out here. There we go. Extended it out a little bit. We're going to zoom back in. Um, and I'm going to use for the start color, I'm going to use a little bit lighter color. I don't know. Let's let's go with like a, a tealy color, I guess. And then I'm going to use a darker teal for the end color here of in the same realm but yeah that looks cool yeah we'll do that for our for our background layer and i'm just going to rename this by hitting enter background all right let's get some text in here all right so i'm going to right click and create new text and this is going to allow me to put some text on the page i'm using arial black because i am really old school like that Let's just type something here. So we're gonna put motion. And I want to go into the align parameters. Again, if any of these windows don't show up for you, just go into window, and then you can open up align right there. This is gonna allow us to center whatever we are selected to um, the composition. So we're gonna align horizontally and align vertically. Now we just have this in the center here. Uh, maybe we want this to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more dynamic. Uh, we'll go 150 so that we have an even number. Nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate this by hitting Control or Command D, depending on if you're in Windows or Mac world. And um, let's change this text to be uh, graphics. Or yeah, we'll, just, we'll do graphic so that it's kind of the same size. Um, yeah, and that automatically renamed the text. We don't need to see graphic for now. Um, we're just going to start with, with motion and uh, get the animation going for that. So now we need a line, or um, in this case, I'm actually going to use the rectangle tool to create a shape. Um, how thick you want it to be is kind of up to you. I want something a little bit thinner, I guess. That seems about right. Now, if I have one of these layers selected, let's say I'm on the background layer and I draw a shape, now I'm using it to create a mask. I'm actually creating a mask on that layer. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit Control-Z and um, remove that. But uh, if I don't have anything selected and I open up the shape tool, then I create an actual shape object inside of my composition. So we've got that here. I can turn that off or on, um, but I, I like that. 
That's about the right size that I want. And um, now we're gonna animate this line going across and then uh, coming back. So the way we're gonna do that is by hitting P for position. And on the first frame here, I'm gonna just add a keyframe. And then we're gonna go, um, we'll say one second in and we are just gonna drag our X axis. That's the first number, that's the horizontal movement. We're just going to go until we get to the other side of motion, maybe a little bit past it. We can double check if we're past where the graphic is as well. Yeah, we're just past that. So we're, we're covering that up nicely. Um, and that's just going to pause there for a little bit. And the way to make something pause is to uh, create a new keyframe further, further down. So at two seconds, I'm going to create a new keyframe with the same position. So now we know it isn't moving during that time. And then we're going to go uh, another second further and we're just going to bring it back the other way. So let's pull up graphic again so that we can see when we made it past. And we're good right about there. And if we want it to loop, um, I can check this first keyframe. That was at 960. So I want it to end at 960. Okay, so I gotta be careful with that. I want it to look, I want it to be a little bit further over. So let's let's actually make this 940. Yeah, we'll go 940 there. Go back to this, 940 on the first keyframe. And now it starts and ends in the, in the same spot. Okay, so we've got our, our movement going there. But let's, um, make this look a lot cooler with the way the movement happens. And the way we're gonna do that is by adding easy ease to our keyframes. Um, so you're gonna right click and go down to keyframe assistant and choose easy ease. Otherwise you can hit function on your keyboard and F9 and then you'll see that they have these like hourglass figures um, and that means that the motion has been smoothed out and easy ease is turned on so let's uh, remove graphics so I can see what's going on and you can see how the motion is uh, not linear anymore it's got the easy ease on there I'm gonna undo so you can just see the difference here so this is linear kind of flat and lifeless and then I'm going to turn on easy ease and you can see the difference. Okay, now let's take it one step further and go into our graph editor right here. Make sure that you have edit value or edit speed graph selected and you can see uh, the speed that the animation is taking place. This is our, our spot where no motion is happening. Um, and we're just going to click one of these keyframes and if I drag from this end, it's going to slowly ramp up to its top speed and then taper off quickly. Well, you can see what that does. Kind of see how it slowly speeds up and then uh, kind of ends. I think I want to, this is a little bit different than my example, but I'm going to actually start by speeding up fast and then slowing down. So it zooms over to the other side. That might be a little bit too fast. Okay, and then we're gonna have it zoom back again. So we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab this this keyframe and drag it in a little bit to the, about the same speed as the other one. There we go, and now it, it comes back. Okay, so we have our moving line, it's moving nicely. We have our, our text that we're gonna reveal. Now it's time to actually add what's called a mat to um, our composition in order to hide and reveal the text properly. Um, I'm going to call, I'm going to rename this layer line. And then we're actually going to create a new shape. Uh, rather than using a, a traditional mask, we're actually going to use a shape as a mask. So we're just going to drag this out to cover our text. Um, it doesn't need to be visible anymore. Um, for this, for the sake of for the sake of showing you what it's doing, uh, let's actually um, 
let's actually make it a different color. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go into our effects, uh, type in fill, and just drag fill onto our layer. Okay, now you can see our mask. It's this bright red object here. Um, if you ever need to change the color of a shape or any layer, you can just add the fill effect and uh, choose whatever color you want. Let's make it uh, yellow. It's a bright yellow mask here. Actually, it's more like a neon green, but you get the point. Go back into our main timeline editor, and you can see that we have we have this uh, this shape obscuring everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link it by using this little pick whip and link it to our line. And so what's going to happen is it's going to follow our line, even with the crazy motion interpolation and the keyframes that we added. It's moving along with with the line that we animated. And I think you can kind of see where this is going, but uh, I'm just going to rename this and call it uh, our, our mat, M-A-T-T-E. And then what we're going to do is um, go to motion, our, our layer with the text, and we don't need to see our mat anymore. It, we have the information there, it's going in the right place. We're going to make that invisible. We select our, our motion text, and we're going to use an effect called set mat. We're just going to drag that right onto our motion text layer. And what we can do here is specify what layer we want to use as a mat or uh, a mask. Um, we're going to go this drop down and just choose our mat layer. And you'll notice nothing happened. Well, what it's saying right now is reveal everything that the shape is on top of. And if you remember, our shape is on top of our text right now. But what we can do is invert our mat, and now our text is invisible. But as we move, our text is revealed. Now, how are we going to get the other one to show up? Because this is going to wipe this back, and we won't see it anymore. But um, we want to reveal the other layer. Um, right now, we have it just visible the whole time. so. We gotta make it invisible at this part and then visible for this part. Well, what we can do is use set map again. We're just gonna drag that on our graphic layer this time. We're gonna set our mat. And this time we're not going to invert it. And we have an issue. We have a problem here. Right now the graphic text is showing up at the beginning and we don't want it to start showing up until we come back with our line. So the first line is going to reveal motion and then our second uh, animation is going to reveal graphic and it's really easy to change that. All we have to do is grab this layer and drag it over to the start of our animation for our second line. So now we have nothing, motion gets revealed and then graphic when it comes back. And that is how you do this little line animation. Um, we can add little flares to it if you want, but uh, this is a pretty simple little text reveal, graphic, motion graphic, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, that, that covers it for now. Um, I'll catch you guys again with another tutorial sometime.